Okay, well, the warnings have been coming in for weeks now, but finally, past the Tony spell of Life Tabernacle Church, has been officially, formally charged with six misdemeanor counts, guys, for all the times that he went ahead and held his church services despite Governor John Bell Edwards' order of no public gatherings of more than 10 people. I got a full breakdown coming, guys. Really quick, though, do me a huge favor. Give this video a like. Let's try to get the likes way up on this video, guys. Share the video here across all your platforms. That's what really helps me spread the word here. Subscribe if you're brand new because you're going to love this channel. And for those of you, you guys enjoy these videos I bring to you on a daily basis. Would you consider sponsoring my channel here for $5 a month or more? You could do so by going to Patreon dot com slash conservative truth i got a pretty little link for you it's right down there in the description of this video it'll take you right there to it i got all kinds of bonus content for you guys on there my podcast where i can break things down more in long form talk more about the sensitive subjects that youtube really doesn't want me to talk about okay so there's great stuff on there i encourage you to check it out because guys youtube hates my guts i'm a christian conservative content creator that doesn't bode well for people like me guys it just doesn't i mean look at me i'm a blind fat guy for crying out loud what kind of a threat to youtube could i possibly be i mean maybe to a large pizza but not to youtube i'm just trying to bring you guys the truth in the end time events and what's taking place in the world today so thank you guys so much for all your support now getting back here to pastor tony spell uh, like i said he has been formally charged six misdemeanor counts all of those counts for all the times he went ahead and violated the governor's orders and that just continued and he said all along this whole entire time all the backlash that he's been getting a lot of people don't like tony spell but he said that even if he is arrested he is going to continue to have somebody at the church hold these services. He goes, he goes, if they arrest me, my assistant pastor will step in. If they arrest him, I'll have the third person in line step in. He goes, and then eventually if we have to, we'll go underground and have church there. And he goes, until this town, this city, this state closes every single door in the entire state, even through Walmart in there, he goes, I'm going to continue to hold my church services here. And nobody is going to tell me that my church is not an essential business to have here okay so you know police are saying this isn't a religious rights issue they say the governor has full order to go ahead and you know cancel these services but again a lot of dispute going on all around the country some states are providing exemptions to churches to be able to hold their services and they are calling them uh, essential so this whole thing guys the longer this goes on the more we are going to see this you're just going to see people fighting for their faith. And the other side of that, you're going to say that people are, you know, other people are going to criticize them and say that they're putting others, you know, health in danger. So, and this is just, this is Christians too. It's not just unbelievers. It's being everybody. This is such a split thing right now. And I got a feeling we're going to be talking about it for quite some time, as long as nobody gets hurt. Now, I do want to throw this in too, really quick before I wrap this up. Uh, Pastor Tony Spell, he did go ahead and hold services on uh, Tuesday night, March 31st. He went ahead with services. He was issued the misdemeanors on Tuesday. Still, the services were being held that same night. They were taking people's temperatures as they were coming into the church. And they also had a, me a metal detector to make sure nobody was bringing any weapons inside the church either. So he's already defying the orders. So if he is to be arrested, and right now they're not actually taking anybody in unless they're considered to be, you know, violent because they just, they can't take any more people into these jails because of what's going on here with the, the My Sharona, as I like to call it, because YouTube doesn't like it when I say the other word. So I'll put more information on this down below here in the description of this video. You guys let me know your thoughts, your comments, everything you think about this down below. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I'll talk with you soon.